Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in dentistry and more. So we're continuing our, our operating instrument sessions. So today uh, we have four-handed dentistry or closed supported dentistry. Uh, it is a, a approach where the fatigue of the operator or dentist will be so much less when he has or she has an assistant. So when aspirating the dental nurse should place the aspirator in the mouth before the dentist position the mirror and handpiece. So always we have an assistant, uh, he can do the half of the uh, work. So she first retracts the lips with her finger or the tip of the 3 in 1 syringe and then places the aspirator tip in position. So it helps the operator or dentist to perform well. He has a better visibility, a good access and he has no worry about the moisture because the assistant is taking care of all the uh, moisture and uh, soft tissues so the dentist can perform well so his fatigue is less the efficiency is more so if this order is reversed the dentist view is likely to be obstruct so the tip of the aspirator should never contact the patient's soft palate as this might cause itching so the orifice of this aspirator tip may be positioned either on side or behind the last tooth in either position the aspirator tip also retracts a soft tissue so when on site displaced next to the tooth being prepared level with its occlusal plane on the side of the arch nearest to the dental nurse so this bevel of the aspirator tip should be parallel to the arch and about one centimeter away from the tooth so that the coolant spray is not diverted away from the tooth and alternatively the aspirator tip can be placed in the molar area that is just distal to the last molar which is where water will naturally collect with the patient uh, supine position so the first thing is uh, we need to educate the dental nurse or auxiliary properly where to uh, keep the suction tip how to keep it and what all uh, maneuver uh, she should uh, adjust according to the patient's position and all those things will definitely improve the dentist performance so the dental nurse also assess with soft tissue retraction in other ways mainly with the tissues on her side of the arch thus when working on the left side of the mouth the cheek and lips on the patient's left side are the responsibility of the dental nurse while tongue retraction is the responsibility of the dentist and conversely when working on the right side tongue and uh, tongue retraction is the responsibility of the dental nurse while the dentist retracts the lips and cheeks when cutting with uh, air turbine the mirror surface quickly becomes uh, obscured by the so the dental nurse should keep the mirror clear by washing it with spray and blowing air over to it. Simultaneously she should do it. So each time the cutting stops the dental nurse should wash and dry the cavity and the mirror so that the dentist can see clearly. So moisture control is basically uh, we can run using cotton rolls, rubber dams or saliva ejectors. Saliva ejectors are various types and sometimes we have uh, the metal types and this is uh, plastic types the metal saliva ejector on the left side has flange to retract and protect the tongue and this is a kind of disposable one so that was all about the close supported dentistry or four handed and uh, handed dentistry where the role of auxiliary or dental nurse is very crucial so that was all about uh, this session. I'll come up with uh, instrument sharpening in my next session. Thank you.